Hey guys, welcome back to Shep Talk. Welcome back to another Shep Talk movie review. But before we get into that movie review, I just wanted to say, if you like what you see here, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It helps my channel out greatly, guys, and I truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And now, back to our review. The Way Back. The Way Back is directed by Gavin O'Connor, who left directing the Suicide Squad sequel to direct this movie, and in my opinion, that was probably the smart decision. The Way Back also stars uh, Ben Affleck, who if you don't know what he starred in, what he's written, or what he's even directed, then you really need to go back and watch some of his work. But needless to say, there, Ben Affleck is always one of those actors, and even in my opinion, that is up and down. He sometimes picks roles that mm, don't really fit him too well, and other times he picks roles that he really excels at. And I believe The Way Back is one of those roles. Quick synopsis, Jack Cunningham was an all-star basketball player who walked off the court and left it all behind and is now given a second chance at being the basketball coach at the same school that he used to play basketball at. And this might be the chance that Jack needs to turn his life around. Just like with everything on the, uh, happening in this world with COVID-19, uh, The Way Back was one of those movies on my list to go see in the theaters, but sadly circumstances happened that I just didn't get that chance to see. So I'm glad they let it go on uh, VOD, and, and here's my review. With all that has come out with Ben Affleck recently, and especially dealing with his alcoholism, I think this might have been like the perfect role and also helped Ben Affleck in that in his personal life because um, obviously Jack Cunningham is a man that has had tragedy happen in his past and the only way he's dealing with it is by the I won't say the end of a bottle because he mostly drinks beer so at the bottom of the can um, and so I think given Ben Affleck this type of role he knows he can embody what that that alcohol but dependent person is and his performance comes across really well I think he this is one of his better roles that he's done in a long long time you know people love and hate Batflick um, I for one was a fan of his I thought he did his portrayal was a little bit different and had some of the stronger points in it but this isn't a Batflick review now one of the things that kind of surprised me about this film was um we see Jack, the setup for this before he gets this offer to become a basketball coach, he is a heavy drinker. He goes to work during the day, and then he goes straight to the bar, and then he's helped home and to pass out, and rinse, wash, and repeat. He does it all over again. And so, even his decision to become a, the basketball coach to his former school, he pretty much binge drink the whole night before calling the father up and saying, yes, I will coach basketball for you. But once he starts, you know, coaching, he, he accepts it readily. Like there doesn't, there like the first day he, I think he went back and drank or maybe not even drank. He, he seemed to be in that mindset that this was going to be the turning point for him. And it really works in a way because you get that feel good movie like this is going to be Jack's chance at redemption and you know you get to see not only how this basketball team is changing Jack but how Jack is also changing the basketball team because these kids are your typical kids you know they're not all stars they all think they're the best but they have a losing record it's just one of those things where both are have a symbiosis relationship I guess or something along those lines where without one the other wouldn't really improve and so this is good for both of them I will say that this movie does primarily focus on Jack and the basketball team and how he helps them become better he starts as the coach is like oh just do this do that and then he starts really getting back into teaching and telling them how showing them how to do this but there is the offshoot and I'll say that some of I'm not going to say the weakest, but maybe even more downplayed. Not you know, so that way it's not weak. It's just downplayed. Um, with his separated wife and his friends and family, where you know, like I said before, 
there was a tra tragic event that happened in Jack's life that sent him in this downward spi spiral. And you don't really get to see what happened to Jack until almost towards the end of the movie. But if you pay close enough attention to the surroundings and some of the things that are said and done around Jack, you can really piece together what happened in Jack's life, what made him and his his wife become estranged, and why his family uh, dynamic is the way it is. Um, but again, it's it's more a second stage, it's more backstage, it's just there to give you a little bit of filler. There are some very emotional impacts in this though, and some stuff that really drive pretty much Jack and what he's doing on that, that court and with the basketball team. Even though this is your typical feel-good movie, they did go in a route that I, I do applaud them in. You know, so many times we see that in these movies where the, the protagonist has this issue that makes him, you know, the black sheep of the community, that something comes into his life that changes him to be good, and then, you know, and that's all it takes, and his life skyrockets. That doesn't happen in this movie. Um, they make it, I think it's more realistic in this movie how just because something comes into your life does not mean that it's going to come for the better right away. You got to work at it. You got to, you know, you got to put the time and effort in it to make your life better than what it was. And this, I think this movie showcases that perfectly. I'm glad with the ending, the way they ended this movie. I felt it was more realistic than say what we'd have got if this was a Disney movie. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap this up and Shep Talk is gonna give the way back four out of five Sheps. I thought this movie was really well done. The director, I think, did an awesome job in this. I wish I could have seen it on the big screen and see how some of these scenes were meant to be seen on the big screen. I think the writing was really well done, and I think this movie was a perfect fit for Ben Affleck and stuff that has happened in his personal life. So guys, have you seen The Way Back? Let me know down in the comments down below. And I, again, thank you for watching. If you liked what you see here, please remember to hit that subscription button. It helps my channel out greatly. And if you did like this review, check on some of these, because I think you'll find other reviews in there that you would definitely enjoy. But guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.